right, man. I quite like it indeed. So when I put this on my head and hit it with a hammer, it hurts. Yeah. When I do this with it, let's have some demonstration time with the crazy dude with the rag on his head. Yeah. So this. Yeah. So at which point, double the other cloth, put that in there, got a bit of padding, hurts, that's the proper hurt, yeah, so at which point, go to four, probably do it that way, take your pack on, done that. Yeah, I've had birds hit me with a motorcycle helmet on at very high speeds. Just bump. That hurt more than that. It's a hammer. Yeah. So I think this is the sort of thing that I'm looking for. Yeah. Nice big thick bit. Whack it in. I think I'll do a bit of fur around it. I'll get these horns. I don't know. I want a horn. I really want a horn. I want to do a horn. It's happening. I'm making a horn. I don't know how I'm making a horn, but I'm making a horn. I'll figure it out. So I'm on a horn. And yeah, I've just had an idea of how I'm going to make me horn. I've got a lot of grinding flappy discs that are a bit too far away for me. But they'd be alright for wood. So if I just get a nice bit of wood, if I get, I've got some pipe over there. If I just cut a little collar of pipe, put a few holes in it so I can tap the nail the wood in. I can weld that pipe to the helmet with a bit of wood coming out of it and if I shape that bit of wood to fit perfectly in that pipe and be a horn I'm onto a winner might know something like that now the question is do I want to go with that Hollywood Viking look not the historical Viking look they did not have horns but Hollywood Viking look Ooh. And maybe something on the centre just as a, a decoration. Or do I just want to be a rhino? I like rhino. I like rhino as an idea. I'm going to have a play about. See if I've got a bit of wood that'll fit in that. Uh, I'll get a bit of pipe. I'll get me pipe out. I'll see if I've got a bit of wood that'll fit in that I could shape in the horns. I'll be back. So I don't know anything about wood. Not much, yeah. I know that when po at all possible, you should use hardwood for absolutely everything. Especially handles, that's what I know. If you're making a handle, use hardwood. This ain't hardwood, and I don't know what wood it is. But someone done a bit of felling of the trees at the back of my house, and they left all of the bits behind. So this, this, in my opinion, is free rain. This is mine now. Yeah, I went out, I picked it up, it's mine. Yeah, so we've got this pipe. So there's more than enough meat in this branch. To fit in there. Now the thing that I'm wondering is how much of a nightmare is it going to be sanding it with a flappy? Yeah. So I'm going to strip all of the bark off. Well, not all of it. Some of the bark off with a little axe. When I get that done, and I'll come back to it. So got that nasty end chopped off. Stripped some of the bark back and I've started working on grinding out, well, sanding out, I guess, that knuckle there. Yeah, because I'm thinking, I'm never going to want a horn bigger than this on the piece. So bring it up at this point to like a sort of point. So, just done a few chops with the axe, brought it about, you know, I just put four straight lines on either side into it, turned it, took off the corners, and this is what I've ended up with. Yeah, looks a bit like a rudimentary toy for a certain purpose, but I'm not going to go into that. So it's family friendly. This is a Christian channel. I'm not a Christian, but it's a Christian channel. Yeah. So we'll get rid of all of the mess that I've left everywhere. I've got the floppy disk ready to go on the, 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 yeah, the horn. It's a horn. Stop laughing. Yeah. So I've got it all ready to go. 
I'm not going to bother with any eye protection I did last time. It steamed up. It was horrible. And literally nothing comes flying off of this. Yeah. So let's get going.
I've sat here, I've got it basically done. I quite like the the shape of it. You know, there seems to be some sort of weird core in the centre of this, which is probably why people don't use it. So it leaves that sort of look. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah. But yeah. It's too big. Not getting used. Do some bells. So I've got the horn. That is too big. Yeah, I, I say horn, I've got the bit of wood. Yeah. I want something that big. <laughs> this side. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to chop it off. I'll just reshape. It'll work. I think. So I cut it off. And because of all the work that I've done on this end, I thought I'll save this bit because it's all the precise and nice stuff. The other bit can be replicated easier. So I'd have to cut all this back and reshape it and just... Nah. Whew. So this is the bit that I cut off. I had to do about 30 seconds of sanding grinding whatever i'm using a grind at the sand i guess and there you go it's not bad it's an all right fit you can't see where it's cuffed around but you would yeah so i can live with that and honestly if i'm going wasteland rhino which i think i am yeah front of the helmet oh look at that i love it I absolutely love it yeah so I'm going to cut the the collar to get welded on I've got to bear in mind that I'm not welding it to a flat bit of steel I'm welding it to this ridge yeah so I've, I'm putting a cutting disc on you know I've got an old cutting disc that I'd been using earlier I'll just get this on I'm going to cut this pipe down to size I'm going to cut that little wedge into the bottom half make sure everything fits all nice get it welded on drill a hole through it drill a hole through this and get it stuck with a nail or something like that there'll be something in the shed circular that i can just push through and be happy with it yeah so i'm all right with that i hope you're all right with it i'm not too bothered i may only drill one hole and put a screw into the piece but uh i'll find out but if I had the glue, I'd just glue it, but I haven't got any glue. What I do have is drill bits and screws, yeah? So use what you got, <laughs> yeah? So I'm going to get this done, and I'll come back there. So my idea is that this is quite a tribal helmet with the horn and everything. I don't think he's just going to be a weirdo. I think he's going to be from a tribe or a tribal area where horns are a thing, yeah? I mean, he might just be the one whack job in the village. He might just be some weird wanderer that saw a, a picture of a, a Hollywood Viking and just thought, yeah, let's only bother building one though. So, in the tribal aesthetic, I'm going to grind some lines into this so that it's just got that little bit of texture. Because as it is, there's nothing decorative on the helmet. This is a decorative thing, so I'm going to make it decorative. Yeah, so I'll get that done. So there we have it, yeah, just a few lines going around, who knows the significance, but they're there, and I like the idea that they're there, because then there's a story, there's a story untold, yeah, so at any point, you can make up what the story is, watch for the steel fl flying at your head, yeah, maybe that's what the story is, <laughs> four rings, the first ring is remember don't let the steel fly at your head, the second ring is remember to wear your gloves when you're grinding, the third ring is put your eye gla uh, your safety glasses on, which I didn't bother, yeah, third ring, pay attention to the third ring, don't be like me, wear your safety glasses, fourth ring, don't wear a blue, don't wear a fairy hat, when you're grinding, imagine if one of the uh, grinding sparks landed in this hat. Whoomph! What if it spread to me beard? Whew. Fourth ring, guys. Take care of the beard, don't wear a fairy hat. So there we have it. I've got the little chamfer in. Which means it just sits nicely on that peak where I want it to. Yeah? Now I'm going to play about with it. A little bit 
make sure that it's going to be coming off straight when the helmet is on so actually about there but the piece itself isn't straight so play well with it get it placed just so and I'll get that welded on by the horn love it so how you doing guys so I'm wrapping up for the day because I've done with the, the horn so the horn's finished the helmet itself the actual body of the helmet's finished the horn is on uh, and I'm okay with that for a day's work, you know, I haven't been down here ridiculously long, my toes are absolutely freezing, uh, I've got steel toe cap boots, well, steel toe cap wellies on in the snow and it's not great, yeah, so I'm happy with my progress for today, so that's that bit done, the next part I'm going to work on is a bit of a nasal guard, I'm definitely going to do a nasal guard, I don't know why I diff differed about it, I want a nasal guard on it, yeah, so nasal guard coming down, I think I want a big plate, right here so I want to play it across here so that from the front it's got a bit of decoration underneath the horn yeah so I'm going to put a plate across maybe it'll wrap round further I'm not a hundred percent sure it will dip just below the helmet it's what the cheap guards are going to be attached to if I make cheap guards I'm not sure if I'm making cheap guards but if I do they'll attach to the bit instead of attaching to the helmet so what I'll probably end up doing is putting a couple of holes into this the next plate will go over the front so it'll be removable so I can have just helmet or I can have helmet with nasal guard and cheek guards the cheek guards will then be removable from the, the nasal plate and the, the front mount yeah which I quite like I'm going to have a play around with leather I've got some fake fur uh, I've got all sorts of old materials lying around from old projects and old things uh, that I'll be able to include into this. It will get a neck strap so that you'll be able to tie it off. Sorry, it's a chin strap um, and everything will be alright. But for now, the Wasteland Rhino is taking shape. I don't know if he's going to stick getting called the Wasteland Rhino or the Rhino King or I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I'll go Unicorn instead of you instead of rhino i have no absolutely no idea yeah but as i say for today that's a wrap thank you very much for watching my video thanks for coming to my channel um i'll see you next time peace